Bob Jones, 86 years old, and you're the oldest contestant in the National Omoxi. Tell us what Omoxi means to you and your family. Well, it keeps me alive. If I quit, I know I'd die. I know I would. So I just keep, keep riding. Mm -hmm. I love that. And one of the things that I love about you too, Bob, is when you enter that arena, everyone in the grandstands and everyone that's here at this show hoops and hollers and screams. What does it mean to be such an inspiration to this community? I, I can't even hear them. <laughs> I am, you zone them all out. Yeah, because I concentrate so much in what I'm going to do. I hear them. But I don't pay no attention to them. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, when they said that everybody was standing up, why I turned around and I waved to them, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Well, you are such a huge inspiration, and there are so many people here that have been talking about you. In fact, I judged the Queen contest, and during interviews, those young ladies were talking about how inspired they are by you. I'm one of those ladies. You're very inspiring. And tell us a little bit about your family because you have a family that comes and does this with you. So oh, speak yes. to them. Well, there's Darren, my son, and then my daughter, uh, Denise, and her husband and daughter. And Darren brought his daughter for the first time this year. Who did you pull on cowhide? I didn't pull nobody. Yes, you did. My son pulled me. Wait, you were on the cowhide? Yeah. I thought, I thought you were in the saddle. No. No, no my son pulled me. Wait a minute. I watched it. You were on the cowhide? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Bob. And I'll do it again tomorrow. Feeling pretty good after that? Oh, yeah. Uh, when I kneeled up on after he stopped, uh, I was a little disoriented. And uh, I think it was Bill McGowan and somebody else come out and grabbed me and lifted me up. And he says, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm all right. I just couldn't get my bearing where it was. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it again next year. Awesome. What was going through your mind when you were doing cowhide? Nothing. Nothing, just there for the just, ride. Just there for the ride, mm -hmm. hang on tight. <laughs> Those are good things. Yeah. Good things to keep in mind. Kind of have to drown. I could, you know, I could hear all of the dirt hitting the, uh, shield on my helmet mm -hmm. and then when I got back here I changed clothes and I took my clothes and tipped them upside down and dumped all the dirt out of my <laughs> pockets and maybe jumped in the shower or no oh run right over there and shower <laughs> so what does the entire week mean to you what does it mean to come here and spend a week doing this with your family it I don't know. Uh, it. I love spending time with family. But what it means to me to come here is everything that I've worked for. Where would you like to see the sport go? This? Yeah. I would like to see another 500 riders. Mm -hmm. And what do you think draws the people to the sport? It's it's a fun sport. It is fun. I mean, where can you go and spend a week of doing nothing but BSing with your friends <laughs> and riding your horse? Uh -huh. Competing. Mm -hmm. There is another sport mm -hmm. like it. Mm -hmm.